Have you ever sat down and been confused on why your drip doesn't stack up to your favorite artist's type of drip? Well, if you answered yes to that, then you're probably like me, a guy who doesn't have millions of dollars to spend on clothes and shoes. But have no fear, because today I'm going to be helping you dress like your favorite artist for a more cheap and affordable price. Because we all know most designer brands' prices are through the fucking roof. And nobody has money to spend on that. So, since this is the first installment of this series, it's only right that I go like this video. And if this video does well, I'll make a part two doing more artists and more complex breakdowns of the outfit. So let's get straight into it. Hey man, look at the crib we in. Hell yeah, I'm living up with my niggas. Look at all the shit we did. And my neck start hurt when I put my chains on. Cause them bitches big. All right, man. So first up, as you see, man, we got that boy Herbo on the list, man. Now Herbo's outfits are very simple to put together. You know what I'm saying? He's probably one of the more easy, easier artists to recreate. So first thing first, man, you're going to need a white t-shirt. You're going to need a plain Hanes white t-shirt. You can get a pack for four or just a single for a dollar. Now we all know Herb likes to wear white t-shirts. This is why the t-shirt is very essential. Next, you're going to need some ripped denim which will cost you about 20 to 40 dollars and you're going to need the striped denim which will also cost you about 20 to 40 dollars now that you've copped your pack of white tees and you got your denim pants it's now time to cop the most essential accessory for the g herbo fits which are the fitted caps which should run you about 20 dollars you know what i'm saying i recommend the black and the blue la fitted caps you know what i'm saying rp nip homie you know what i'm saying Now that you've copped the most essential accessory, it's time to cop the thing that makes the whole fit itself. Can I get a drum roll, please? If you guessed the all white G Fazos, you was right, my nigga. It's the all white G Fazos. You need the Fazos to complete the fit. It's only right. It's this nigga favorite and most worn shoe. You know what I'm saying? And the Fazos will only run you for about ninety dollars. That's a steal. So, peep. This is how you put the fit together, right? You have the Fazos, the pants, the white tee, and the fitted cap. That's herbal. That's a herbal fit right there. Tell me it's not. And the fit will only run you about $140 to $150. That's a pair of shoes for some niggas. It's a steal, man. That's herbal. Outfit's done for y'all boys. Now it's time to move on to the next one. Up next, as you just saw, man, we got this nigga NBA Youngboy, man. Shout out to all the NBA Youngboy stands out there, man. I'm finna teach y'all how to dress like y'all, Lord and Savior, Sir Youngboy, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, this nigga Youngboy got a very simple swag. It's a lot of outfits you can put together and call it a Youngboy fit. But here's my take on the young boy fit, you know what I'm saying? So you wanna use those pack of white tees that you just bought, you know what I'm saying? Use a t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? Next, you wanna get you a puffer jacket, you know what I'm saying? They should run you for about $80. It depends on which one you get. You don't necessarily have to get those, but that's just the ones I chose. All right, so next you wanna go and copy some blue or black regular denim jeans for about 20 to $40, you know what I'm saying? And then you want to go and grab those Fazos that you just bought for 90 and put them on for this fit. So, peep, this is how the fit going to go, right? You're going to have the Fazos, the pants, and the jacket. Now, look at this fit and tell me this is not a fit that young boy wear. <laughs> it's not a fit that young boy will wear, you know what I'm saying? Like, look a young boy and look at your fit. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's it right there. And it's only going to cost you about an extra $100 because you bought the pants and the jacket. You know what I'm saying? Even if you feel like it's not enough, you can go to your local flea market, buy you some bullshit jewelry. That's not real gold. Hell no. They spice it up. Now you done. You know what I'm saying? So now you can jam out to your NBA young boy. You know what I'm saying? Going crazy with your new fit on. Or you can even vibe out at school, pull up to school with your new fit on. And if any nigga got a problem with your fit, just uppercut them in good old young boy fashion. Me, bitch, still act like you owe me. I promise I won't ever quit, bitch. I'm Kobe. I, I will that white, you can snow me. Snow me. Snow that young thug. I will be that bitch as you know me, young thug. Yeah, she's so. Last but not least, we got the big homie Slime himself, Thugger Thugger, man. Now, you may think Thug style is a little bit complicated, but it's actually real simple. I'm going to break it down to you like this, right? So, you, you take your mom or your girl or both, y'all head to y'all local JCPenney's or Ross, 
head to the women's section and copy one of the three of these bad boys right here you know what i'm saying price i don't know but this how you gonna put this bitch together right just put them on just put a dress on boom you know what i'm saying that's thugger thugger and that's it <laughs> Oh yeah, and um, by the way, that last part was just a joke, just a joke. So um, it's no need for Big Slime to send the booty guns after me. So um, yeah. <laughs>